My guest tonight is the creator and star of the Emmy Award winning show Insecure, which is in its fifth and final season. Isa? Is that me? Oh, throwback me? I forgot how cute I look with twists. No, but this new look is working for us too. You like this? And we got our braces off? Let me see them teeth. Let me see them teeth. <laughs> Let me see them teeth. <laughs> Show me how you eat. <laughs> <laughs> we stupid. So what are you? Oh, no, you good. But <laughs> so what are you doing here? <laughs> no, uh, it's our ten year reunion, and Stanford asked me to speak on a panel. I know we'd be a big deal. Yes. Please welcome back to the Late Show, Issa Rae. <laughs> It's lovely to have you back. Nice to see you. Good to see you, too. It's lovely to be back. Thank you for having me again. Oh, it's a pleasure. And, and you're very brave to wear a dress like that in a room this cold. It's so cold. I wasn't going to say anything. I was like, the audience at home doesn't know how cold it is. So it's pretty cold in here. I call it comedy right. weather. Uh, now, hey, you, we haven't talked to you uh, since before COVID. Yeah. The last time you were here. And congratulations, belatedly, are in order because since the last time you and I spoke, you got married. That's absolutely. Oh, that's, that's lovely. I did not know. I did not know. But what I love about this is that nobody knew. <laughs> this is how you announced it right here with this photograph, impromptu photo shoot in a custom Vera Wang dress. My girls came to help me, but they all coincidentally had on the same dress. So <laughs> they were so embarrassed. Then I took a few uh, flicks with somebody's husband. Yeah. So this was this were they did the guests know what was going on or were there guests? The guests knew what was going on. Did your husband know what was going on or was this I don't know who that guy was. He was a great sport. Um, <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad that he was uh, willing to be down and featured. But yeah, everybody knew what it was. This is so beautiful. It looks like you got married at the Grand Budapest Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is, where did you get married? Uh, I had a photo shoot in the south of France. What? And it was really, really beautiful. It was wow. nice. And you yeah. figured while I'm doing a photo shoot, I, I might, might as well as get just, married. Yeah, get hitched. That's nice. Thank Congratulations. You. So, how are you liking it so far? You know, it's nothing's really changed. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> the, the same person. All right. But it's been, it's been nice. I'm really, really happy. Yeah, well, I'm a fan of being married. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, it's worked it's, it's work out for me. Okay. I'm glad. Yeah, that's great. Right. Now, the fifth season, the fifth season of Insecure premieres this Sunday. Yes. And I know millions of people uh, write at you on Instagram and Where Twitter every week. They want to know what's going to happen. I'm sure they have suggestions for oh what gosh. should happen. All the time. People are emotionally invested in this show. Do, how much pressure does that put on you as the creator of this show uh, and the uh, producer of the show to wrap things up in a way that's going to satisfy everybody else. All the pressure. This was terrifying, you know, because you're like, you're ending a show and people are going to have their opinions. Sure. Um, and, and you've so done such a good job of carrying this show. Like, it's like this precious thing that you've carried for four seasons. It now, been, you don't yeah. want to drop it in the you last. You don't want to drop it. Like, I'm like, you know, and you were on HBO, which, you I'm know, familiar. had another very popular finale. Um, sure. That people perhaps <laughs> felt got dropped. People felt, <laughs> people felt strongly about that. Mm -hmm. And people come up to me like, girl, I can't wait for the final season. Just don't Game of Thrones it, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, come on. What? But, but I will say that shout out to one of our uh, writers because we had so much pressure. Um, and she was like, we keep on, Amy Aniobi, she was like, we keep on telling ourselves to like land the plane. Mm. And these characters aren't going anywhere after mm. the show. Like they're going to live on. So it's not that the plane is landing, they're taking off and we're just jumping out. And then and what would happen if we wrote a season six? And that really like freed us. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. It was, like, it was... uh, like in karate, they say punch beyond the board. Oh, okay. That's what you guys are doing. That's what she should have said in the first place. We would have yes. understood it better. <laughs> she, what is she talking I'm about? sorry I'm not Plays. available to write on your show. I apologize. <laughs> and you're busy. Now, it, your character, East D, has changed a lot. She's grown a lot during the, the, the first for seasons you guys doing the show, I'm sure it changes again and more growth in season five. But what about you? 
I mean, you, this is, um, I, mean, I don't know if I'd use the term, like, necessarily Cinderella story, but oh. this is, pretty famously, this is you coming right out of the blocks. Yeah. With like a, a nine five hundred, like you, <laughs> people were blown away because this is the first show that you had created. Yeah, isn't it? it's my first TV show. I came from the internet, and this was. You I know, hear good things. Over I'm there. very. The internet's yeah. okay. It's okay. A, it's a little crazy. So, but how have, how have you changed? How have you grown in the last Man, five years? Yeah, I mean to come out and be uncertain and have this this opportunity to make a TV show. You know, I was, for lack of a better word, insecure, and now I feel like. You know, it's been five to six years. I've been working with some amazing people, supportive people, and it's made me more secure. <laughs> no, but like, it's made me more confident in my, in my place here in, mm -hmm. in Hollywood. And I feel like in some ways I'm just getting started and I feel capable. And this show, I would not feel capable without this show. Do you Thank you. <laughs> this is so positive. We have to take a quick break, uh, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Issa Rae. Stick around.